Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my most recent bathing garden haul. So this I ordered only about only about a week ago, I want to say. And um Yeah, it came fast. So this was from her I think I have stuff from the Salt Collection, the Fairy Realm. Um, take me to the sea collection. Did I say that? And then I think she had like a, a summer fun one. Now I went in on the second day after I got an email saying that it had been stocked and there were things that I couldn't get. Like I couldn't get, I think the salty siren was already all sold out. But anyway, I seriously told myself just go in and get four or five things and like, don't be greedy is that on my computer? Don't be greedy. Just get a few things and then get out and you don't need, but you know how that happens. So I'm going to start out with showing you guys the samples that she sent. Shannon is the owner. Um, for anybody that does not know. And I thought I had, I know she sends an invoice. Give me one second. All right, sorry about that. I knew I had an invoice. It was under the tissue paper. Um, if you've ordered from the bathing garden, you know that every single clamshell that you order, she individually wraps in tissue paper. So the presentation when you get your box and open it up is seriously breathtaking. Um, it really is like getting a gift. So, and you also know how incredibly generous Shannon is with samples. So that's what I'm going to go over first. I don't have scent descriptions for them. It's just too time consuming and it is seriously so hot here. I feel like the heat is making me delirious. So I'll start with the samples. The first one is Salty Siren, which I did definitely want this, but I couldn't get it when I went in. But that's okay because I've had it. I've been fortunate enough to have it before and it's so goddamn good. It's described, um, this one I just know. It's described as the saltiest lime margarita. And that is cute in a little um, shell. I want to try to go quickly because I feel like I have a lot of stuff. Um, oh, this next sample is sparkling mango. And it's definitely like a fruity, juicy kind of artificial smelling mango, but I still like it. It's great. Great, great for summer. Happy for that. Oh, and her samples come in a nice little bag. Next we have, oh my gosh, what do you say? You are fizzing pineapple soda. And this is in a cute little bunt. Yeah, a fizzy pineapple. Not a huge fan of pineapple. I don't, I don't hate it. I just don't um, really like seek it out, but definitely will melt that sample. Next we have Milk Rose. And look how pretty this is. And this is definitely like a super creamy, um, very, very strong floral for the rose. But that like creaminess a vanilla it says milk rose so just a creamy like rose scent so it smells really good so there's that and then we have midsummer song which i think i've had this oh sorry this one is like clearing in here somewhere oh well i mean it's not much i can do this is just berryness yeah just like a mixture of berries. That's what I got. So there's that. We have a comic book. Uh, this reminds me of something. I don't know, you guys. I can't. I can't tell if it's like a fizzy note. I'm not sure what this is, but these are. Ones that, um, I think this is from a new collection that she's going to be doing. Um, Fairy Berry. Fairy Berry. Oh my God. 
the fruit. What's that? Um, love marshmallow. It smells like a like a creamy strawberry marshmallow to my nose on a cold. We have Riddle Me This. Oh, I like this. This is different. This kind of almost smells like, almost like a Veda shampoo, almost, but more of a, like a sweet, this is going to sound weird, like a sweet Vicks Vapor Rub, but I, I kind of like it. <laughs> Definitely different. So like I said, that's Riddle Me This. Uh, then we have, what are you called? You are Salty Mandarin Margarita. Ooh. Mm, I don't like this. This is like Salty Sea Air. And I'm not getting like Mandarin. That's, I don't like that on cold. Not to say that I won't when I warm it. And lastly, from... For samples is love letters from Paris. Hmm. Got like a soapy, kind of like light floral, and that's really pretty. See how pretty that is. I don't know what's going on with my my lighting because I'm not really by a window. But okay, so that's that. Can I maybe just move this? I don't know what I'm. Don't know what's going on here. How's that? There, we're better. All right, moving right along. I picked up, um, what does she call these? The Jumbo um, Wax Tarts. I've never bought one before and I was super curious about it. So these sell for $12 and this one is in Midnight Fairy Lights. And that's what it looks like, as you guys can see just how big that is and it comes kind of like with a little jewel and then it comes with a little card like a little blank card so that if you were to give this as a gift um, you can do that and this is described as um, olive branches lemony citrus and bergamot now I got another scent that has I don't get that with this at all. I don't know if this is the wrong description. This just smells like super, like fruity. I don't get olive branches at all. I don't know. I'm going to wait and see what it smells like when I warm it. Um, Maybe I wrote down the wrong scent notes. I don't know. If you hear video games, that is my youngest son in the background. Um... I figured I would have a chance to film. My husband and my oldest son are not home right now, so a few minutes of quietness. Okay, here we go. I picked up two clamshells in Venetian Spa. I have definitely had this before, and I do really like it. It is described as grapefruit, sweet olives, and fresh watercress. Oh, just such a pretty, clean, beautiful scent okay yeah this is just like really pretty and that is what that is what it looks like really beautiful blue wax with the shell so I did pick up two of those Let's move these samples away so that we have room move my little mermaid tail um yes yeah, so Vene Venetian spa really good love that happy that I grabbed some more so we're in nine minutes into this. Um, Wanderlust is strawberries and raspberries blend with agave, lime, and hints of rum. Oh, this is pretty. This is new to me. I've never had this. That is what that looks like. I mean, her wax is just stunning. It seriously has to be the most beautifully decorated wax. This is Blackberry and Bay. Super excited to get this. I don't know why I only picked up one. They might have, maybe there was only one left. I don't know. Blackberry juice blends with woodsy notes of bay and tree bark. 
this is delicious smelling and not in the food kind of way delicious and that it's just so pretty and like clean um yeah i'm really excited for that so that is blackberry and bay so very excited there then i picked up two of monkey wrecked which one of these is going to a friend who was not, did, I don't think she saw it when she was doing her order. So this is a blast of tropical fruits, bananas, sweet vanilla, bubble gum, and coconut ice cream. And it has like the mermaid tail on that. And you definitely get that banana. It's like a candied banana. And you get the coconut. It's just a very like fun scent when you are craving like something silly and not serious to melt. I figured my kids um, would either really, really like this or um, I'll save it for when we go back to school and I'll melt it in my classroom. I have not decided yet, but we have time. So one is going to my friend. Alrighty. Next, I picked up two of these and this is on... Uh, this is in 100% Sunshine. And that is described as lemon sugar, black summer tea, and hints of ginger. Oh my God, it's so good. You definitely get that sugared lemon and a little bit of the ginger. I'm not really getting like black summer tea. That smells so good. And look at that with the little sunshine. The sun. How pretty. That, this is really, really nice. I'm glad that I picked that up as well. It smells really good. Um, I picked up two of sea salted wood sage. Yum. And that is what that looks like. And sea salted wood sage is described as pink sea salt, crushed sage, woody earthiness blends into a fresh and soothing scent. And this is a Jo Malone perfume type so this is pretty light on cold I'm not really getting um any one particular note that stands out but that is all right and that is how pretty that looks and like I said I did go ahead and pick up two just because the scent notes were stuff that I knew that I would like then I picked up elsewhere which is Sweet apricots blends with bright lemons, grapefruit, and refreshing spearmint. This is really good. The um, apricots mixed with the spearmint. That's super pretty. Very fruity and nice. Yes. I guess I am getting a little bit of the, of the grapefruit. So that is what elsewhere looks like all of her sprinkly goodness love it then we have the summer court and the summer court this one oh my gosh i love this one this one i wish i got more but i how greedy can i be this is wisteria blends with sweet grass sunshine and fresh clover and you definitely get that wisteria and uh i get more i think more clover than sweet grass but I could be getting both of them together. This is really, look at this. Is that not gorgeous? Again, with the sun, the grass, leaves, little, it feels like little butterfly, yes, little butterfly glitter specks. Oh my God. So delicious. This just smells like a perfect spring day. It really does. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Then we have Sour Summer Candy. Again, I just picked up one of these. I thought this would be a fun one to take to school. Um, I figured the kids in my classroom would like this. This is Sour Raspberry Strawberry Blueberry. Blends with lemon, lime, pineapple, and pineapple sour gummies. Yep, just sugary fruit candy. What every kid would love. Um, I may test it out in my house. 
in my youngest son's room. He likes scents like this too and see what it does. But look how pretty that is. So again, that is summer, sour, summer candy. Then I have um, two of Mermaid Tears, which I love this scent as well. And look at that Mermaid Tail. I'll open this one up and show it. Mermaid Tail. Oh my God. Mermaid Tears is spa-like scent of essential citrus oils, tropical greens, and salty tears. This is so good. The way that those, um, the citrus mixes with the salt in here. Oh my gosh. It's like makes your mouth water. This is really, really good. Tropical greens. I don't know if I smell that. This is real. Look at this though. This is the full on. It's like a, see that mermaid? It's gorgeous. Let me see if this is the same one. I'm obsessed with mermaids anyway, so, um, so super pretty. Cannot wait. I've had this before, um, to melt those. Pretty much all of this. I don't think there's anything that I didn't like. Oh, wait, there might be one. Okay. Um, and next I got Pearls of Ocean and Pearls of Ocean is pink sugar, suntan lotion, salty ocean, sand, fresh breezes, and mandarin. I got this because um, I think she said that the colors of the mermaid tails would vary. So that's all I needed to hear is that it was going to have a mermaid tail in it. And they could have said it was going to smell like hay. And I I would have I would have ordered this. So you definitely get the suntan uh, lotion. Definitely. So if you're not a fan of suntan lotion, this would not be for you. I do like this. This is just scream summer to me. A tiny bit of mandarin in here. I don't really get the pink sugar. You do get saltiness. So how freaking beautiful. So that's one of them. I did get two because I knew that it would be different. And that's the other one. Gorgeous. This smells really, really good. Again, happy that I picked up two of those as well. Okay. Oops, sorry. Dropped you guys. Um, all right. Some more. We have Water Mint, which is fresh air and water notes blend with cre creme de menthe peppermint and light notes of vanilla and vodka. I've had this before too. And I just really like this. This is just like a very refreshing, cooling mint type of scent. You kind of get a hint of like a vodka of a, like an alcohol, but not in an off-putting way. It kind of is just very ever so slightly there at the end, the very, very end. This is really good. Again, I really love this. Then we have pink sand, and pink sand is pink sugar blended with tropical suntan lotion. That's the banana suntan. This is really good. This is good. Pink sugar mixed with suntan lotion. I like this a lot. It's like a girly suntan lotion type of scent. I like this. So I would think, even if, if you're a fan of pink sugar, but not really a fan of suntan lotion, you would probably dig this one. Did I show that? I just picked up one of those. Then we have Summer Melon and Mint, of course. This is so good as well. This is melon, guava, mango, papaya, and strawberries garnished with freshly, freshly picked peppermint leaves. Yeah, so you do get the combination of those fruits mixed with peppermint peppermint's in the back but so good that's what that looks like super pretty yummy only picked up one of those fun we have the olive lemon growth this is the one that i think i'm not crazy about because isn't that what this is it should be i just want to make sure that i'm not losing my mind so this says it's olive branches lemony citrus and bergamot 
and Midnight Fairy Light says it's olive branches, lemony, citrus, and brick. That's the same exact thing. These do not smell anything like... I need to find out what Midnight Fairy Lights is because that does not have olive branches in it at all. Um, I do not like olive branches the way that I used to. And I've learned that... Oh gosh, I think I started discovering it a few months ago because I had stuff from Lush. Olive branch, like a body lotion, and it smells like cat pee to me. And this kind of gives me that same vibe. I'm not getting um, the lemon citrus or the bergamot on this on cold. I know that that could totally all completely change when I go to warm this stuff. So I'm just going to hope that it does. Otherwise, I'm sure that there is somebody that I know that would like it. So sorry, I made a mess again. So that's what that one looks like. Super pretty. I just hope it's not, why did I, I don't know, what was I thinking? This one I absolutely love, love, love. This is Garden of Lemon Delights. And you guys, oh my God, this is seriously super fresh squeezed lemon. Oh, it's delicious. So it is described as lemon and verbena, excuse me. Blend with hints of lily, orange, sage, and crystallized sugar. So there you have the little dried out um, orange in here. This is so delicious. Yum. I would drink a drink that um, smell. If, some, if I could, whatever. I would drink a drink that smelled this way. This smells so damn good. This I should have stocked up on. Really delicious. I love me some good lemon scents okay and the last ones because i got two of message in a bottle so that's what that looks like look at that the bottle the bottle the seashells do you guys see that the damn detail to these clamshells i don't know how she does how she does it so let's put that there so you can look at it because i did get two and they're exactly the same okay so message in a bottle is described as tropical mandarin orange juicy mango tonka beans vanilla ice cream and fresh coconut oh, definitely getting the mandarin the orange i don't know if i'm getting the, the mango get that vanilla ice cream and definitely coconut. So I don't know about the tonka bean and the mango, but this is really delicious. This is, again, summer. Summer in a wax form. So that's everything. This took way longer to film than it should have. Um, her clamshells are $3.95. That is everything, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I saw that June Mermaid posted her um, bathing garden haul, so I'm going to upload this and I'm gonna while it's uploading I'm gonna watch her video I wonder if we got any of the same things you guys thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye bye